drag this uh, drill uh, ball bag. And what we're, what we're trying to do is we'll, we'll line up our guys in space and they each have a ball and they each have a kind of a, a lane that they're working in. And we're looking for them to get 10 or 15 ground balls and we will ask them to either do it in a volume way where they're scooping and they get it right down or they will ask them to do some dodging as part of it. So I can't remember how this one's laid out, but here they are. They all have ground balls. We're asking them to do one move right now. They get one move. You're seeing guys roll. You're seeing guys split. You're seeing guys walk the dog. And we're utilizing the whole space. And they're going to get, you know, eight to ten ground balls in this short period of time. And we're maximizing our space. And they're getting their ground balls in the area where they're going to get consistently get ground balls. And so, again, it develops a confidence. It develops a comfort level. It develops, and again, they're going, I'll tell them to go, hey, let's go 50% speed. Let's go game speed. Let's go 25% speed. I want them to mix, mixing technique and poise and conditioning and repetition all in one. So this is, you know, they'll go and we'll have, you know, they'll get to the midline. Now they're going to come back and we're going to ask them to do a double move. You know, that they're, they're splitting, they're rolling, they're mixing up different moves. And again, because in a game, you don't always get to predict the dodge that you're going to be able to do or where the space is. So again, it's all about scooping, repetitions, volume, spatial awareness, because you don't want to run into a teammate, and the technique that you need to, to scoop a ball and escape. Watch our defensive midfielder here scoop a ground ball at the top of the box and make an evasive move leading to a possession for the Crimson. 